my first full day at White Spar Campground south of Prescott, Arizona. I got one of those, went to Big Five today, got some sandals that I like, the open toe river sandals, and this self-inflating cushion for sleeping in the back of the SUV, my Highlander. We'll see what happens. Hope that takes a little pain out of the hips. Man, that was felt like it was bone on bone most of the night last night when I got here. But yeah, this is my campsite. Got it mostly set up yesterday. I come up here I try to get some walking in because it's about 6,000 feet, 6,300 feet at this campground. And it gets me used to getting some altitude when I start walking in the mountains in the summertime. It's June 5th today. I'm going to get set back up and do some riding. I did my breakfast and lunch here. I got my solar panel out, 200 watt Renogy portable unit with my Renogy lithium iron phosphate 50 amp battery that has not failed me yet. Things are good. I like my campsite and the general layout of White Spar is quite lovely on this end of the campground. They chopped all the trees down on the other end, makes it look like a plucked chicken over there, but I do like this campground. Been testing out the new sandals, the river sandals. I had to lot back off on the straps, the toe straps and then that heel strap. Otherwise they run a chance of getting a blister starting. Tomorrow I'll give them a good trail walk and see how they work out. Funny how just a new pair of shoes brightens up my day. <clears throat> Working on the first pair of a six pack. Solar panels working away. 24 hours into the camping here at White's Bar, uh, right near Prescott, Arizona. My writer's cave. Nice sunshade. This is particularly well suited, this campsite for east-west uh, morning and afternoon sun exposure. Up there, there's a bunch of trails, people walking around on the uh, mountainside. This is quite a well-used campground. I went on a little hike earlier, checking out my new shoes. I came down out of the hillside up here. I didn't want to carry my camera up through there because I have a tendency to slide out every now and then. Although these shoes held up well, I don't want to be replacing cameras and stuff. I'm probably one of those guys that needs to wear a well, what is it, GoPro on my hat everywhere. That's one access to the trail. But there's people running along you can see. Up ahead, people and their dogs go running up and along the hillside there. But that's the access to the trail that goes around the campground. There's one that you can access that you take this trail up that way and it takes you to the top of the hill and over to, uh, forget what the name of the lake is. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of trails and mountain bike trail access, horse riding. This area is quite uh, well frequented by runners and, well, any number of campers, but I love it here. It's an enjoyable time. Hello there. So it's June 6th. I started another Kindle Vela series. Uh, this one is welding and motorcycles. It's a non-fiction series on the Kindle Vela platform, along with my other fictional tales. And 
I have uh, four episodes up at the moment, although I posted episode five this morning. It should be up in a couple of hours. I'm enjoying the Kindle Vela platform. It, uh, in this particular uh, series, it's kind of cathartic to write a memoir of how I got into welding via motorcycles back in the 1970s. It's a fun series for me to write. But other than that, uh, it's been very relaxing up here in the mountains, White Spar Campground near Prescott. I get to write every day. I get to post and promote on uh, on my Kindle Vela uh, sites or uh, uh, one of the pages that I follow on Facebook. But uh, for those of you who are into Kindle Vela, I think you'll find it... Uh, worth your while to maintain a constant series and uh, episode episode upload. Uh, it does come through in terms of the bonuses you get, and you do get rewards. I've had this up two days, and I have, I have 21 thumbs up for my series. It's been fun. Thank you.